the process begins in the middle of the night. The massive 170-foot wings of a C-17 Globemaster III lowered and towed out the door. This is history. 279, that's it. That's the last C-17 that's going to be built, and it's a big, it's a big deal. Um, it's just an emotional day. It's joy and the fact that we built 279 of them, and it's a little sad that, um, that this is it. Major join is the largest scale process in C-17 assembly. This is when parts become a plane. And that's what you're seeing today going into the tool. Uh, the center barrel, the nose section, the wing, and then the tail. It's a 22,000 pound ballet. Crane operators hoist and drive the massive components delicately into place. Keep coming down. The center fuselage is lowered first. The nose follows. The wings glide into place. And finally, the tail brings up the rear. Everything is done slowly. Right side's 900, left side's 980. Done precisely. Copy, let me make a phone call. And done safely. It's almost as if they can read each other's minds. They communicate very well. Uh, they watch out for each other. They put safety first in everything that they do. Many here have spent decades assembling these planes each feeling their own connection to the C-17. Well, that's what makes me so proud is my kids now are 18 and 21, and there was a point where my son would look and say, that's daddy's airplane. Well, I helped build it. It's hard to know assembly is over soon, but the future of the C-17 is bright. These employees take pride in knowing the plane bringing relief around the world will fly on for decades. Because there still needs C-17 support. We may not be building them, but it's a great airplane and it's going to be flying for many years. A feeling shared by many, especially those few who started on plane number one. And, and that feeling, knowing that I had a little bit to do with each and every one of them, oh, it's an enormous amount of pride. Enormous.